Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to live streaming through Gen Con with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss some of the hottest titles at Gen Con 2019. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by my partner and a couple good friends. I'm Jess. Andrew. Chris. All right, today we are bringing y'all Echos. Ecos? Ecos. Ecos. First Continent, designed by John D. Clare and published by Alderac Entertainment Group, or as we know it, AEG. So welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. AEG also kindly provided us with this review copy of the game to be able to bring it to y'all to them. So thanks to John and everybody over at AEG. Also, it's one of the demo only games, so you can't even buy this yet. If you're not at Gen Con, if you're watching this and watching this live, you're, you get to experience it much like how a lot of the folks at Gen Con are experiencing it. So pretty excited to bring this to y'all today. Before we get started, a big thank you to all of our 746 patrons who helped make all of this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A couple which are on that side of the table. Special <laughs> shout out to Anthony Chekas. Say thanks for all you do and thanks for supporting the show. Quick reminder, if you guys like this idea of live streaming through Gen Con and you like what we're doing in general, like and subscribe down below, hit the bell. It helps you guys get reminded whenever we go live and it helps us with the subscriptions. Everyone drives home in a Cadillac. <laughs> if you want to go one step further and join the herd there, you can always go to pledgehc.com and get all the benefits and support us financially there as well. So Ecos, First Continent. The rule book is laid out very well. It's really clear, but it's a lot of words for a not very complex game, but it's all about, and as you said it earlier, putting combos together and chaining right. combos, basically. It's a card, a tile lane, and kind of a tableau builder where you're trying to build up combos that are really fulfilling when you do that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good way to right. put it, right? Sounds good. All right, so Chris and I have played this. The other two haven't. So when you place your bets, just know that going in, that Jess is still going to win. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to bring the cameras in the chat down during the teach as I want to do, and then we'll get going from there. So y'all ready? Yes. Ready. Y'all ready? I hope so. If not, well, we're going anyway. So here we go with Ecos. Eco. First continent. Eco, Eco, Eco. You know, I keep thinking of that dolphin PlayStation game, but mm. anyway, I digress. There we go. Ecos, First Continent. What if the formation of Earth had gone differently? In Ecos, players are forces of nature, as if Jess isn't already, creating the planet together, but with competing visions of its grandeur. You will have the chance to mold and create a part of the world similar but different to the one we know. Which landscapes, habitats, and species thrive will be entirely up to you. All right, so we have three of the tableaus, as you can see in front of the three players out there. Mine will be on the tableau cam so that you guys, at least starting to teach, so you guys can actually kind of see everything in detail. But what are y'all looking at out here? Well, first off, we have the map tiles, and the game actually comes with uh, suggested setups and various things that we can do, but it's going to start with one grassland tile, one desert tile, and two water or ocean tiles out there as well. We also have some trees and a mountain out there just to be able to lay out for some potential uh, examples as we go along. Then we have the various map tiles over here. I want to point out that the uh, water tiles are double-sided, whereas the desert and grassland are opposites, depending on what side is facing up. Obviously, we have a supply of trees and a supply of mountains. There are a couple different shapes of mountains. That's just for aesthetics. They're no different one from the other. This bag, the, the bag of mystery, 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 <laughs> contains element tiles. There are 40 different element tiles. This is just a selection of some of the 40 element tiles that are going to be in the bag that we're going to be randomly drawing out of there. Over on the left-hand side, we have the score track, which, 
And as you can see, well, you couldn't. Andrew was off camera, but there we go. We have the score track that goes up to 100. May uh, be able to loop around. I do want to point out the 60 and the 80 over there. The 60 is marked with a little rising sun. Could be done for a shorter game. We're not playing that version. We're playing the regular game, which the game will end at the 80 point mark. Then over here on the right hand side, we have the energy cubes and the storage container, which actually is a uh, punch out and you actually build these little containers. They have cool little lids that actually fit in for those. And then we have the animal tiles or animal tokens and the storage containers, which also have handy dandy little lids that we'll be able to slide in and actually has done a really good job of keeping everything where it should be. So well done there. So that's what everything you're looking at on the for the quote unquote main board, if you will. But over here, this is everybody's tableau. Now, everyone starts or everyone has one dial. Sorry, we were going through an example earlier. Where everyone has one dial here in their player color. Then they have a set of 12 st cards of a set. You'll notice the elephant footprint. I'm playing the elephant set. Why? Well, duh. All right. <laughs> and I have a little elephant token. Not for any reason, but just to show you guys what the animal tokens look like when they're on the board. And they have these little markings on them as well that show what type of habitat, that they, what type of tile mm -hmm. that they can reside in. Obviously, you can't put an elephant in the ocean. Okay, they can swim, but still, you mm -hmm. don't do that, okay? Everyone has, like I said, a hand of 12 cards, three of which have a darker symbol on it than the other ones, so you can see the difference between a hand card and a starting card there. So that's what everyone has as well as, well as seven energy tokens to begin with, mm -hmm. okay? All right, so that is all of the components that are in the game, but now let's go ahead and give an overview of how you play the game. So there's no turns per se in this game. What's going to happen is whoever the first player is, is the harbinger. Mm. <laughs> Sounds ominous. Seriously, it you died. Mm. It was well done. Did y'all coordinate that? that yeah, was they were waiting. <laughs> the first player is the harbinger. What does that mean? They're the lucky ones that get to draw out of the bag. They're going to draw one element at a time that look like this. And I'm really, really excited to see what these symbols get called as we go throughout the game. It's going to be a lot of fun and entertaining, I think. Now, these elements that are in there, there are 40 of them total. There is not an equal distribution. And in fact, let me show you guys. This is the distribution of the various tiles that are in there. There are... 10 sun, there are 8 water, there are 6 grass, there are 5 fish eggs. Those are fish eggs. Yeah. Okay, go with it. There are 4 like kelp or seaweed, mm -hmm. there are 3 concentric circles, there are <laughs> 2 <laughs> animal or deer looking ones, and then there are the 2 wilds, okay? All that matters are the symbols on these. A player is going to draw one, the, the harbinger is going to play it's going to draw one tile at a time. When they do, they're going to announce, or they'll set down the tile on the board, and they're going to go ahead and say, hey, I got a water tile. Then every player is going to have a choice of two different things that they can do with that draw. So first off, they can take one of their energy tokens and go ahead and put it on one of the, one of the storage spaces on a card out here that matches that on the left hand side of a card. So you'll see if somebody drew the water, I could, if I want, go ahead and take one and put it on there, easy enough. My other option in lieu of doing so is to rotate my dial one clockwise. Those are your two options, that's it, okay? Then once everyone has done that, the harbinger is going to draw another tile, so on and so forth. Now, before we go into the next part of this, I want to actually go over one of these cards, the card anatomy, if you will, in detail. So taking a look at these cards, on the left-hand side, we have obviously the energy cube spots, as I just discussed. Then there are there's a little color band over here that you can see. They're either green or red, and if you take a look here, like at Jess's tableau has two green and one red. The reason for that is the green ones tend to be uh, more 
uh, static in adding to things and being beneficial, whereas the red ones tend to be, uh, it can destroy or change parts of the landscape. Mm -hmm. Just know that as a big picture type thing, okay? Getting back to the card anatomy, every card has a number in the bottom left-hand corner, as well as the number of use icons. Now, this took us a little bit getting used to, I'm gonna be honest. The number of leaves, right here is two sets of two. So that is four leaves, meaning this card can be activated a total of four times. Whereas this one only has three leaves on the top, so it can only be activated three times. When you activate it, and I'm going to go over the details of that shortly, you're going to clear all these off and you're going to rotate the card physically and it shows how many activations there are. And eventually, it's going to rotate to where there's only one lonely leaf at the top. When that card activates, it's going to do its thing and then it's going to leave the game permanently. Okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Easy enough. Also at the bottom are preset hand icons. So there are animal and there are different um, uh, plants. So you can start with either set if you want, just for a little added variety. Again, I'm going with the elephants, okay? And obviously in the middle of the card are going to be the card effects. When we resolve these card effects, it's going to be important that you must go top to bottom, okay? And I wanna point out this arrow here. Most of the cards are going to have this arrow in, at the very top. What that arrow means is that when you resolve that card, it is imperative that you do so the arrow first. If you cannot completely activate the arrow stuff that is on there, then you cannot do the rest of the card. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So that is important. So the arrow placement effects, uh, you must resolve all of the placement effects, whereas, and I'm going to show you guys one of Jess's cards real quick. It actually isn't the first one. So what that means is going top to bottom, you're going to resolve here. Then you must be able to do this, and then you can do that. Does, is that clear? Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Moving on. You guys actually understand, I would argue, 90% of the game. So the Harbinger is going to draw a tile, announce what the tile is. People are either going to place a energy cube out on the board on one of their cards, or they're going to rotate their dial. Okay, however, when somebody, and we'll go ahead and do like so. When, let's say, that, and these do not have to be filled top to bottom, it could be in any order, etc. If somebody said, whoever the harbinger is, says grass, whoever completes a card, and it may be multiple players on the same tile draw, they have to announce. Eco. Thank you. And that means, hey, I'm going to have to, before we draw another tile, activate my card. And this happens in clockwise order from the Harbinger, okay? So in this case, what the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to clear the card off and we're gonna put the cubes at the top of the card to remind us what card is activating. Then try and do top to bottom. So this says, go ahead and place one tile out on the world. Now, placing a tile, it must share one side of any existing tile. Pretty simple. And this says either a grassland or a desert. So easy enough, I could place it here. I could place it there, wherever I want to place it out here on the board. Then when I do so, gain one wild element out here per adjacent grassland. So obviously it would behoove me to place next to multiple grasslands. Okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. Then after that, I'm gonna rotate the card. If it already had the one leaf at the top, we would just discard the card. Easy enough. And I'm gonna go, not going to go through the details of everything else. The only other thing you need to know regarding the cards are this little squiggly line here represents victory points. And the first one to 80 triggers the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. The last thing that I'm going to go over before we get started is your dial. So I said in lieu of placing a energy cube out here, you can rotate your dial clockwise one. If you rotate it again, when you do so, you may immediately do exactly what it says, or 
or you can wait to rotate it one more to do exactly what it says on the next side. So we'll go over these in order. You may gain a card, then rotate this back to start. So gain a card, and then there. Easy enough. You might be asking yourself, self, how do I gain a card? Well, there are two decks of cards up there. There are obviously the blue deck and kind of the brownish deck, as you can see. Now, they're slightly different. The blue cards tend to be more victory point based, and the brown cards tend to be more concerned with setting the map up, putting things on the map, whether it's animal tiles, mountains, trees, or actual tiles themselves, okay? When you can draw, when you can uh, gain a card, you draw any mix of two tile cards that you want, choose one, discard the other. Okay. After the first player has done so, and it could be two blue, two brown, one of each, whatever, whichever one they ch do not choose, they discard face up. And it's going to become a bit of a tableau out here for players to be able to choose one of the face up cards in lieu of drawing two random or mystery meat cards and discarding one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, good. I don't need to go any further with that. We can move on. So gaining cards. And there is no hand size. So you can end up with a huge hand of cards by the end of the game that were good in theory that didn't really do anything for you. I say this maybe from experience. So this says you may gain one energy cube or play a card and then rotate it to start. Now, you're limited to seven energy cubes. If you have all seven out here and you need to place another one, well, you either rotate your dial in lieu of that, or you take a cube off and place it onto whatever the new space is, okay? Whereas here, this is the, one of the main ways you're going to gain energy cubes. This is also going to be almost exclusively the way you're going to play cards to add more cards into your tableau, is by rotating your dial here to this side, then playing a card from your hand of cards, and then you reset this back to the start. First one to get to 80 wins. Whoever has the most points wins. Go ahead. When you get to 80, it's yes. like the last round. It right? is the last round, correct. You finish the, the draw. The, 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 the harbinger's draw. Now, I did say that that player is the harbinger and there is an unequal or an unequal distribution of tiles. There are two wilds. The harbinger stops being the harbinger when they draw one of the two wilds. All that means is the bag passes. There you go. And we're going to throw all the tiles back in. Okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Good. Easy enough. Let's get going. Place your bets. Remember, Jess hasn't played, but she's still going to win. Um, there's going to be adjacency and other things out here, but we'll go over that as we get started. Okay? Over under, I will say four and a half. Glory to Rose. And that tile. Yep. There we go. All right, so Andrew there, give me just a moment while I finish getting set up over here. All right. There we go, that should be good. And we're gonna move these back. You guys don't actually need to see them, all the tiles, that way it gives Jess and I a little bit more space. And question for everybody at home watching, do you guys, would you prefer having my tableau on the board or having it zoomed in and keeping it off for whenever I activate one of my cards. Up to you guys, you guys tell me what you would like, okay? And I guess I have to give my elephant up and put him back. There we go. For now. Yeah, <laughs> for now. Look at our cards. Is that? Yeah, and actually, before we draw, why don't we guys, while the peanut gallery is the sighting of my tableau, um, take a look at your hand of cards. I stole an extra one, didn't I? I should have nine. Three, four, six. No, maybe not. All right, this is not going to be the most entertaining TV right now because everybody <laughs> is going to be reading their cards. So a moment. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty funny while you, and this is me just talking to the uh, peanut gallery. Um, I spent, I think, seven turns trying to get a card out and then playing it and then realized it was one activation that ended up scoring me like three points. <laughs> <laughs> but it was such a cool card I wanted to do. It felt worth it until I did it and then it was so 
That's a lot I'm of games. So, yeah. You're like, this looks great. Right. Oh, oh, that oh, was yeah. not Tunnel vision. This. That was a bad idea. Yep. But it was fun. Did you have fun executing uh, it? No, doing not it. as much. Yeah, but the actual execution, <laughs> I was like, really? My shark eats one animal? That's it? All right. Okay. All right, I'm ready-ish. I will go from there. This will not be high-level Ecos play today. Yeah. Did I mention I've never played this before? <laughs> right, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. All right, so go ahead. It would be really funny if that had been wild. Been pretty I funny. kind of expected that. <laughs> All right, so, so call it out. So it's a water, wave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no, pick one. You call it. Uh, yeah. well, it's, it's water. water. Yeah, exactly. It's water. Exactly. Just, yep, exactly. So then, could be waves. All right, so pretty simple. Yep, one on water. People are saying keeping it zoomed. I will do so as long as I have cards that will fit on here. Okay, there we go. All right, All right. so Jess, water. <laughs> Um, okay. One water. Or either place one or, or rotate your die. Right. Those are your two options. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead, Harbinger of Mystery. <laughs> you got another water. All right. All so right. there are e eight waters. Eco. So oh, what? Wow, look at you. Wow. I'm rotating. Uh, uh, yeah, one water I, out too, there. am going yeah, to have... go ahead and rotate. Because I have no water, but even if I had water, I didn't have to. And okay. where do you gain it? Uh, no, r wrong way. Okay, because this Clockwise, one. yes. Nothing. You're right. <laughs> It'd be real nice if it went the other way. It would be real nice. <laughs> there's <laughs> words there. I want to turn it to the words. Okay. All right, so I heard Eco. Go yes. for it. So uh, this card just says place a new water tile. Um, okay, so we'll go over this uh, in detail as it goes on because it, it doesn't need to be front loaded sure. for all of this. So placing um, a map tile, it must touch one side, like I said. Um, the end. Yeah. There you go. There's going to be reasons, by the way. There are cards. I, you can imagine the types of cards that yes. are in this game. Hey, for different uh, groupings of, and I want to get the verbiage here right, uh, communities, a community of animals, mm -hmm. meaning one group of animals in a, you know, in a herd, if you will. They're adjacent means adjacent exactly means. Right. Um, a habitat is a habitat is any adjacent mountains or adjacent trees uh, on adjacent map tiles of the same type. So that would be a habitat, and a land mass would be not separated by water. So as it is, we have two different mm -hmm. land masses to begin with. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And let me go. I saw the the weird look Chris is shooting uh, me. So yeah. <laughs> habitat is any number of adjacent mountains, trees, or adjacent map tiles of the same type. So a habitat would be I got you. a desert mm -hmm. or a mountain range right. or a forest right. of trees. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. that makes sense. Whereas if this is two different habitats. Right. But if they both have a tree on it. But if they both have a tree on it, that would be the, that forest. would be a tree mm -hmm. habitat right. or a forest. Right. Okay. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. So place your water, sir. So I don't know if this matters too much right now. I don't think I have anything that really matters plays off that. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got you. Put that there. I gained two points. Is in the lead. Wow, here he goes, oh, running away with the get game. Him. Get him. And place. I place any type of uh, water, animal. water animal in the space. I'm so. Gonna, oh. Go ahead. <laughs> well, no, no. So there's orcas, mm -hmm. there's sharks. Um, so here, there's actually, I will show everybody. Here. Maybe your cards have. Here we go. So we have do. here. Do they? You got. So, I think he has an idea. We have storks. We have. Uh, there we go. Storks, fish, cheetah, and orca on the other one. Hippos and obviously elephants. And then in the other one, we have gorillas, leopards, antelopes. Oh my! Uh, more antelopes, rhinos, manatees, lions, and sharks. So there we go. Okay. But no All bears. Right. No bears. Dub bears <laughs> are not here. There we go. Oops. So I think uh, based on uh, he's got a hippo. based on the card I've got out here, which gives me points for hippo storks or antelopes, I've also got some other hippo related cards. Okay. I'm put a hippo down. All right, and it says in the water specifically. It says on this space. So okay. It's the one you put down. Now. Notice also on the hippo, it shows water or uh, grassland, yes. meaning there are maybe cards that move animals. They can be moved on. They right. can only live where they can live, right? Mm -hmm. So, so that's placement sense. and movement. There we go. Boom. We took care of two so things. This rotates and these cubes come back. There you go. Boom. Draw another. So you guys Draw. now have seen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but now, now it's a matter of chaining <laughs> stuff together yeah. and everything, right? All right. We got a sun. sun. All right. 
I'll take a sun. Let yeah, sun sounds the sun all right. Shine. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll take the sun. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> place like on this yeah. one there. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. One drawn. There you go, JT. Priorities. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Ooh. Kind of a dominant species. Ooh, fish eyes. Roly poly or fish eyes. Row. It's Unclear. row, right? <laughs> yeah, it'd be row. All right. Well, I'm definitely rotating. All right. And I will go ahead and place there. All right. Okay. Grass. All right. Rotate. Well. Huh. Yeah, now I got a choice. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. I know exactly I'm what I'm doing. So I have two grasses. I go ahead. Now, there are uh, there are nine suns left. I would like to see one of those, sir. <laughs> I want more grass. They're all good. You got to call it. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> sun. Oh, sun. Oh, you go. All right. All right. So I, if you rotate, you have a choice. You don't have to do this. If Correct. You, you, you do either it. do that immediately when you rotate. So or... right now, I could gain a card and then rotate back to start. But that goes from here into my Correct. Hand. Right. right. Or, or I can wait, and if I rotate again, I'd get an energy. Or, or play a card. Or play a card from your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's tempting. To, <laughs> oh, they look so good no. over there. But. Um, no, I'm going to wait. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm the only one that ecoed, I guess. So here we go. What'd you get? So I'm going to play one land mass of my choice there, either grassland or desert, and then gain a wild for every per adjacent ones, including that one. So, you know what? Kind of makes sense. We'll go ahead and put that there. So that'll be two wilds. So those two wilds, and oh, I apologize. Those should go, I'll move these down so you guys can see. Those are there. So I've done this. So I'm going to gain two wild elements, which I'm going, I have to rotate the card because I used it. And I will go ahead and... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that one, eco. So there, rotate. So I get to place a tree or four or a tree and then gain a seaweed and a water. So I will go ahead and place the seaweed over there. And for the water, I will rotate. And I need to place my forest, which I'll be able to do easily enough. And so placing a forest here uh, to any tile that can support one. So a grassland, it can go straight on a grassland. It can go on to a, a desert only if a desert has a mountain on it. Okay. So a desert tile with no mountain cannot have a tree. A desert with a mountain can have a tree, and a grassland can have up to two trees, one here, and then if there's a mountain, you can add a second tree, okay? Mm -hmm. Easy enough, and obviously, there are no, there's no mangroves, so there's no water trees in this, okay? All right, so I'm done. Oh, Jordan brings up a good point. What? You only had, it was only one adjacent grass. Oh, fine. <laughs> really? You think so? Mm -hmm. I don't think the tile you place counts for that, right? All right. <laughs> I'll rotate it back. I'll take that back. I'll take my kelp and rotate that back. <laughs> you guys are no fun. Hey, Jordan. Thanks for the vote. Thanks for looking out for me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I see how it is, Jordan. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to protect my investment here. Fine. So here. So I reset everything. Okay. Boo, Jordan. Boo. All right, go. Nice. Sun. Oh, eco. <laughs> there, there, <laughs> there, you go. Oh, there it is. What's that sun? All right. All right, so we do this in, in turn order. So go ahead. I'm going to play a card for okay. this uh, thing here. I'm going to play this. Probably that's fine up there. Yeah. Oh, okay. you got plenty of room. So yeah. gain two fish eggs if I fill that. Right. Okay. Right. So for me, I ecoed. So these will go there. I will then place my jam tree enter, and then I will rotate this, and I will place that, and then rotate, and take those back. 
There we go. J-Rex, go ahead. You're going to either gain an energy or play a card. I'm going to play a card. Okay. Oh, sorry, I was also going to play a card. I just missed out on that. Uh, uh, okay. But I'm not sure which one I want to play. I'm going to play that one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play this one. Take back. So what do your cards do? The ones you played. So mine um, lets me place a tree down, and then I gain uh, water per adjacent tree. There you go. Okay. Mine lets me place a grassland, gain six points, gain one point per grassland in the habitat, but it takes a really long time to build up. That is, uh, there are six, six uh, elements on that, but and it only has two activations. Yeah. It's nice that it two. Right. Better than one. I'd, I'd argue it's 100%. <laughs> Two times yeah, three. right. Seriously. There right. you go. All right. Draw again. Uh, let's fish eggs, I guess. I'm going to <laughs> rotate oh, and geez. then play a card. Rotate. rotate. Uh, <sighs> eco. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> it's a decision. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this card, I think, if no one else is. You don't have an eco. Mm -hmm. All right, place a water or a desert. So I'm going to place a water. A oh, water. Yep, water. Place a water down here somewhere. Gain four points, please. Please move mm -hmm. me into the lead. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. That's, it's not adjacent to a mountain, so I don't get a symbol. Move one animal in or adjacent to this habitat one space. So there's no reason to do that. Just pl placing water and getting four points. Okay. All right. Okay. Everyone's all set. No, oh, not yet. Oh. So I am playing a card. So the card I'm going to play here is pretty cool little early game card, I feel like. It takes a lot to get it, because remember, there are only two of each of these, and there are two wilds as well. So this is going to be a hard one to get out. Um, this is going to be a good card to help with that. Place a cheetah. Gain four points per adjacent space without any animals. Not a lot of animals out there yet. Then lose two points per adjacent space with one or more animals not including this space. Gain a card and then play a card. So seems like a pretty, pretty good card. All right, go ahead, draw, sir. All right. Got grass. All right. Mm. Eagles. Huh? <laughs> Huh? huh? Oh. I can't, I'm not <laughs> loud when I'm supposed to be. Ecos. <laughs> All right, so everyone done? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm here, I went ahead and did, did this one? so that I could go ahead and do that to help with this. So, Jess, go that for it. That made tons of sense. <laughs> Watch out, he's doing that, that in this There was this and that and things. Hey, All right. Go for it. So, place. Clear. Replace. You, you have to clear the, the cubes off first. That's okay. the first thing. There you go. That did not, that's not necessary. Stop. Okay. Um, replace ocean with. Oh, okay. That and gain a card and play it, and uh, then this goes away. Yeah, that's a one-time use. So um, gain a card. So draw. Yeah, remember, a combination of victory two. point. More focus. This is more focus with putting stuff on the board. Victory points. Both. You see, so you, you take draw two, two. Yeah, it could be one and well, one. Or well, two. well, yeah. Hmm. It so just it says, says gain, gain a card. Oh, is it, oh, right, right. Sorry. Yeah. And All right. Gain so, a card is this action. Right. So this, I would. Yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. I think. I would gain say, a card and play yeah. it. So, so I, I think say, I pick one. You pick one, and the other one goes face up, right? I think that's how correct. It works. So it's, standard way of gaining it's a card. still it's still gaining a card. Correct. Probably. I agree. I agree with that. Gaining cards. Uh, Look at two, yeah, look at two cards. So you're good. Remember, so you want two of these? all these games yes. we will have okay. gotten recently, so... Um, <laughs> you're little, right this okay. one. Um, so I pick one, the other one goes face up? Yes. Correct, yes. And is available for anyone whenever they take that action. <laughs> That's a good face. Right? <laughs> action in my face. And Chris, did you rotate your tree placing card? This one I did. I rotated okay. this. All right. Yes. Oh, okay. wow. That seems really hard. Yes. Netwilk. <laughs> Netwilk. Sorry. There we go. No. Paul, I think you're going to be able to handle this one. You're going to be all right. I'm pick it up on the next. Once Jess is done, game. you should be able to pick it up starting there, I think. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. That's not happening. The tough part is making your cards work. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Which yes. I am <laughs> failing miserably <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. And okay. then play it. Okay. 
So what did you play? Uh, a really hard card that I can't say I'm going to use. It's placing tiles and getting points per landmass fully surrounded by water. Oh, I don't wow. think it's going to be useful, but the only reason I picked it is diversification of the symbols. Okay, that makes sense. All right, mm -hmm. cool. So now, Andrew, throw a tile. All right. You got water. I like water. That was not really useful for me. All I can do is rotate, so that's what I'm doing. Let's oh. see. I want to get that card out. I'm going to rotate. I'll put a water Morning, here. Chisel. I think. Good. This looks uh, like a better terraforming Mars. I don't know... Huh. Mm -hmm. Terraform... I actually can kind of see... Card tableau I stuff, know, I guess. I know. <laughs> Building the map and gaining resources. I could kind of make that leap, yeah. I suppose. Um, you good, Jess? <laughs> yep, we're good. I'm good. I said I just rotated. I couldn't play it. Sun. That's a good one. So right. I am. I'm going, I'm going to. I'm going to rotate and play a card. Okay. Uh, am I going to get a cube or play a card? So I'm going to play a card. I think that's the thing to do. Um. Yeah, we'll gain this card. All right. All right. Everyone done? Go for it. Okay. So I feel like there's more strategy here, and maybe I'm not, not saying it was better. Than, I'm just saying that I could get right. the similarity. Say again. I think there's more strategy, and maybe not playing even if you can. Some of oh, these. Oh, correct. Totally. One hundred percent. That's yeah. the case. So far, I've just I been like, oh, I can place it. I'll just uh, place it. Yeah, now I'm like, yeah. wait. Yeah, set up, <laughs> set up your so what is this? Seaweed. Seaweed. I think. Right. Yeah. Oh, eco. Rotating. Eco. eco. Uh, hold on, I'm deciding. I'm not even sure I want to activate this, but we're gonna. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play it there and hoping for a sun soon so that I can clear these off and put them over there, I guess, maybe, but I need more cubes. All right, go ahead, Eco Boy. <laughs> eco Boy. Tree okay, so place. I'm placing the tree. Okay. Uh, and then Which I get, can be placed where? What are the tree placements? Uh, it can be placed on here. It can't be placed here because there's no mountain on the desert yet. And ah. cannot, ah. there's a placed. second one there because there's not a mountain there. So literally right. he has three options. Right. So, um, so trees can go on grass or mountains. We'll put it Correct. here. Yeah. And I gain a wave sure. per adjacent <laughs> tree. So I get one wave, which we'll put over here. All right. Done. And and rotate. rotate. Okay. Chris, you got anything? Nope. I got nothing. I'm not an eco boy. I did, but I don't think I can use it. I can't place there. Oh. Uh, yeah. So the question. Yeah, you can. It, you can. And get zero points. No, gain three if this. Oh, is not the largest that, habitat. You'll I, a I'm reading correctly, so this isn't useful. So I'm not going to do that. And, and FYI, yes. you are allowed. This actually brings up a good example. So mm. good teaching moment here. You are allowed, since uh, things activate in turn order here, you are allowed to take your cube back off and say, I don't want to do that based on Based on what other people things, do. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So okay. you can either rotate or place it somewhere else if a viable spot. Rotate it. Already done. Okay. Cool. 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 Just All right. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see. All right, Eco Boy. If somebody can see translate again. Danilo. Rotating. Eco. Oh, that's terrible. I know. Uh, no, literally, like, I want to place it here, but that's my last cube. Actually, yep. <laughs> I guess I'm going to rotate. Oh, that's so gross. All right. I know. All I right. almost want to do that just to get my oh, cube back. I need more. I need more energy cubes. Uh, okay. So I'm going to place uh. a tree. Okay. Uh, and I gained one point per separate tree habitat, but there's only one tree <laughs> habitat. And then I gain a deer and a sun. Um, I'll take the sun. De deers are the rarest one. <laughs> yeah. They are. The only deer I have is on this one that's going to take forever to fill, but oh, it might deer. still be worth it. I'm wearing a lot But of keep cubes. in mind. You only have seven cu energy cubes to start because yeah. you still got more we can get. Well, you can always take them off. Yeah, oh, sure, but head. then you wasted actions. It's true. It's true. <laughs> um, it's going to take so long for it to be done. Nah, I'm just going to rotate. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Draw and there, Harbinger. Off, and this rotates. There we go. Okay. The Harbinger. Sun. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Eco! Wait. Let's go. 
We're not in room for these things. Is that it? I'm gonna put my son. That's down. it for me. Okay. So we're gonna eco over here then, since nobody else is. So it's gonna be this one. So these will come off. Then I place uh, one tile and then gain a while per adjacent. So I will make sure not to try and cheat on this one. So we're gonna change up the landscape a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and place that there. It's adjacent to two, so I get two wilds. Pretty good, nice. So the two wilds will then come on over here onto those. And I have to rotate. Done. Cube, please. Uh, energy, oh, nice. And reset your... Yeah, back. was just waiting for them. All right. Okay. I'd like a deer. Sun. Eco. I will rotate, and I'm going to get a cube. Oh, I do have a sun up there. Done. Okay. So... I gained two points. Gained a cube. And okay. I gained a wave and a black hole. I don't know. <laughs> like uh, I said, I, I'm curious to hear what these become. So I'm right. going to do another eco over here for that one with the wave. You and then build rotate the one extra thing. cube on the card? What? How do you build up an extra cube on the card? Christopher was... On the, he, he means uh, rotate to be able to... Uh, oh. yeah. He said, can you move a cube from one card to another? Yes, you can. It's just wasted actions if you do that because you will have placed it and now you're moving it off okay. of a card. As right, a, so if like, Ro in. came up, I could take this Correct. and move this here. Wanted. So right. my, that resource is movable. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, but then you can also build up to an extra cube on the card. On so. the, he means on the dial, I think. You don't? Okay. I, why don't we ask Chris what he what means? What do you think, Chris? <laughs> what does that mean, Chris? What do you mean? Uh, all right, so I'm activating this card, too, so I get to place in a water tile, uh, which we'll put one next over... Time. Oh, or and there's a really small detail about the, uh, the components on this that I really, really appreciate, and I'll talk about that when you're done Hold here. Hold on one second. There's a card in here that matters for this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I've got all this empty space since my tableau is off here. Okay. We're going to put it here. And gain two points and place uh, any type of water animal in the space, so it'll be another hippo. Think they're over here. All right. So the again. it's a small thing, but these tiles, the land tiles, are a little bit thicker than the water tiles, and so the water, it's like a coast mm. for all... It's just... <laughs> I appreciated that. That's all. The end. All right, go mm -hmm. for it. <laughs> nice detail. Yeah. All right. Deer. Hey, hey. There it is. Buddy. Um, hmm. You betcha. We'll take a deer. Oh, hmm. dear. Hmm. All right. I'm going <gasps> to get a cube. Excuse me. All right. Um, so this goes back. Draw. All right. <laughs> I was right. Christopher got know. distracted. Yeah. Grass. Uh, rotate. Oh. Huh. Maybe I should have been trying to build up this thing. Um. Hmm. Eco. Mm. Yeah, fine. We're gonna try it. Rotate. I'm gonna play a card. Yeah, I agree, Bill. It's a little thing, but all right, I'm the only eco. Yeah. So, okay, it was grass, so we're going to go ahead and place that there. So I can place an antelope or a stork or a hippo or an elephant. <clears throat> a moment. Uh, I think it's going to be an elephant because I have no reason not to do that. Yeah. Grab me one yep. there. And then gain three points. So, orange is on the board, and we'll go ahead and... Three points. Three points. There we go. Woohoo! So, that will clear off. That's one of three activations. So, we'll clear that, rotate there, open up, and now we're just looking for some kelp. How many are out there? There are two, and there are four, so there's two available plus a wild. Okay. So, before Andrew's done, I will get a chance to uh, activate that card. Hopefully now. That'd be great. <laughs> Sun. Sun, huh? Sun. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. Got I think it. I'm going with this one. I think I'll take the sun. Hey, Ashbjorn. 
And place mine here to be able to get that kelp there a little bit quicker as well. I'm trying to make okay. combos here. Everyone else that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like being able to see this in quick little cuts to my tableau for this? Sun. Oh, that's, a ro that's a rotation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mandatory rotation. All right. I'm Nobody good. else? All right. So here we go. Here comes a big turn for me. So there. Place a tree and then gain a kelp and a water. And the water is going to be a rotation, and the kelp is going to go there, but first we have to go ahead and place our tree. So we'll go ahead and literally only have one placement, Whew. because now no trees can be placed on, on the board. Keep that in mind, mm -hmm. okay? So now, Eco, by doing that, so here, place a cheetah. Hey, that's how I was just checking out. All right, there you cool. Go. There we go. So, <laughs> cheetahs, and I have to be able to do this, and they can only be placed on desert. So, thankfully, we do have a desert tile. And it says, gain four points per adjacent space without any animals and lose. There are none of it. So, there are two. Then I'll gain a card and then play a card. So, four points, four points. Sounds like eight points. Okay, we're on a All right, and now uh, let me go ahead and get to the, you know what, let me get one of each. One of each, okay. And I'll go ahead and show everybody what these are so they can kind of gain along with me here. So place a stork, gain two points, move each stork in a straight line as far as you wish, uh, make cross gaps because they can fly in the landscape, but you must land on the land space. One point for each water crossed by a stork. Ah. Conditional, but not really useful for this one. This one, uh, yeah, it's going to be this one. Gain two point, place a land or a, a grassland. Gain two points, gain a point per ad adjacent grassland or water. Yeah, it's going to be that one. So we'll go ahead and discard the other. There, there we go. I rotated, playing a card. Back to start. All right, Andrew, keep going. All righty. Let's see. Harbinger. It's, it's seaweed. Okay. Wait. Wah, wah. See, oh, there. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> okay. It's mm -hmm. a rotation. Oh, and I forgot to. Ro uh, I have to also, sorry, discard this card. It's out of the game. Ah. That did its job. So there's that. Yeah, there. Maybe rotate. Right. Uh, seaweed, huh? You know what? I want to be able to get that card out. So I'm going to rotate. There we go. Okay. Water. We like water. Water, water, water. All right, so we'll put the water here. Rotating and then playing the card that I just got. Okay. Okay. So I played the card, reset that, boom, done. Give me a water. Grass. I saw water. Grass. I'll rotate and get a cube. Sure. And I will play, play on the there. new card that just got placed. That'll work. Okay. How many fish eggs are there? There's five, so two of them are out. Okay. Give me water. You know what? We're gonna. It's grass. <laughs> I ain't water. Uh, rotating. I mean, these symbols aren't diverse. Another enough. grass? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay. And now we just play that one bag. next, I think. There we go. All right. Next one. I did. Uh, I didn't do it. Bottom left card. There are not many left. Oh, there's oh, a wild. And, yeah. Wild. Eco! Eco. Alright. Yeah. yeah, I think we're going to do Eco. <laughs> and Eco as well. And yes, good call, Bill. So real quick, that card said I should have played a card as well, so I'm just going to play one from my hand, but Eco for that as well. But gotcha. sounds like I'm third in line. I'm going to so. move that. So Eco. Alright, okay. all of us Quadruple are Eco. Eco. Okay. Wow. Alright. <laughs> so I just gained two points from this, and then a wave and a Concentric circle thing. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so that's going to be a rotation, and I will use that to play a card, which will be this one, which lets me put mountains down. Oh, yeah, there's no mountains out there. Yeah, we need mountains. <laughs> All right. My turn? Yep. yep. I'm going here, which lets me gain two fish eggs. The two fish eggs come down here, and lets me play the card I really want to play, which is place a desert tile. Um, it's going to go here. A uh, desert, desert sorry, yeah. Why do you want to put a desert there? 
So. Oh, you're a terrible human being. Because I, I want to. <laughs> All right. Really? Gain two points, please, for okay. black. I may also replace a water with a desert, which I'm going to do here. I assume that animal dies. Oh, right? that's gross. Will you stop? That was really <laughs> not nice. Nice. Yeah, um, this is, the, right. this is the first time, the second time in Nico. Any glory to Rome? Then I'm gonna gain a card. Yes. Yes. Seriously, so, glory to Rome. Does he get the, on your maybe hands. does he get the move? Yeah, he, I will. I'm gonna out. look that up real quick. <laughs> and then I get to gain a card and play it, which is like, what a gross card. I think they died. It was a it was a I red card for the too. record. Um, yes, as the water suddenly disappears. <laughs> yeah, it turned into a desert. It was, yeah. This is the evolving planet. Dried guys. up. This is, can't cry over this. <laughs> <laughs> Nature. <laughs> All water only animals go away. But he can live um, on land. Hold on. If too. you replace a desert tile with a grass, da, 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 uh, so. Any anything on the uh, that's that was on the tile is removed. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye, right. Hippo. What are you doing? That poor Hippo. Um, okay, so you're done. Or are you I'm gaining and playing a card, okay. so you can... It's not going to affect All right, me. so for my earlier play a card, I'll just go ahead and have played that one previously. So we have that. Then I'm ecoing here, which is placing a grassland, gain two points, and then gain one point per adjacent grassland or water. Yeah, that makes sense. So looks like I'm going to gain a total of four points out of this. So, we're going to go ahead. Ooh, actually, scoot those no, right. up a start. little bit. Why? There. No. So, I gain two points and then gain one point per adjacent grassland or water. So, that's going to be a total of four points for orange, please. Okay. All right. Take care, Chisholm. All right. Take care, Johnny. Place two points. That's it. Okay. You are the new Ready? harbinger. All right, there's a new harbinger. Oh, yeah, and, and that was the wild, right? Might yeah. Okay. Mm. Everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Mm okay. Fish eggs. Roly poly fish. All right, heads. rotate. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the new card here. So oh, I, I suppose I should do what you guys do and read my card. So place two deserts. These deserts must be adjacent to each other. And gain three points. Move all animals in this habitat one space. Gain one point uh, and a sun per desert in the habitat with w in this habitat with no animals on it. Okay, um, Paul, I'm not sure when this is coming to retail. I I wish I had an answer. And obviously the AEG folks are all demoing this at Gen Con because Gen Con started today. So I don't know the answer to that. I apologize. Okay, mm. we're drawing. Do it. Hey. Moose. Okay. All right, moose nice. it is. <laughs> I will throw it. On that one. Everyone happy? Yeah. We're just gonna keep it rolling. Water. Water. Oof. Eco. I am going to just rotate. Okay. Mm. Ah, man. First to eighty triggers the end of the game. Correct. And we finish the uh, right. yeah, the harbinger's rotate. turn. All right, I'm going to eco my card here. It says choose any type of animal and place it. And then I gain a wild if it's adjacent to it, three different types of habitat. So you got to figure out a spot. Like somewhere there, something will be good. So we can go on, can go on some grassland. That's interesting. I want an antelope. There it goes. And he's next to at least three different types of habitat. So I got a wild. And then I'll trigger Eco this card, which lets me place a rhino. Uh, rhino, rhino, rhino. There it is. And he can only go on a desert. Um, but I get two points and three if it's not adjacent to any other animal. So it'll be five points there. And I gain a wild. So my wild. Nice. So Very five, nice. five for, black. for black, please. Andrew. Okay. So and then I'm going to. For my wild. Is that there? All right. 
So the game ends um, when somebody draws a wild that, and they somebody has already reached 80 points. Just FYI, I scored 38. <laughs> <laughs> Last game, just to put it in context, I scored 38. All right. All right. Cool. Keep hey, it on rolling. Jasper, thanks. Son. Son. Um, we're going to keep on rolling. Yeah. We would like some concentric circles, Ooh, please. Yeah, so. All right. Let's see what we can do. Everyone ready? Yep. Mm. Mm. I need a cube. All right. Gotcha. And then reset it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Uh, Fern. <laughs> <laughs> There's different things in here from when Wait, he was. Fern? Right. Yeah. Now it's time. a fern? Yes. Like I said, it's. So here, we'll, 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 we'll keep the pile there. There we go. All right. Go for it. You're up. I'm rotating. Uh, Lisa Tree, gain three points if it's not the biggest, it isn't. And gain uh, mm, this turns, right? So yep. let's add that. Gain an antelope and a fern. A fern. <laughs> They're ferns. So are you putting that between two ferns? No. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. I hate all of so, you. <laughs> last year there was a joke at Gen Con about that between two ferns. Remember that? Yes. Um, and there's only one tree per? Is that true? Uh, unless it yes. has a mountain where it can right. have a second. Oh, but there's a mountain there. first. Yeah. Okay. No, ain't no one putting mountains up. I'm trying. Come on. <laughs> Come on, mountain man. Yeah, right? Ready? He needs a bigger beard for that. Uh, <laughs> Everyone's ready? House. No objections. We'll pull him upside down every time. Son, you go. are consistent. Um, We're going to rotate. And I think we might be playing a card. I am going to place there. Done. Okay. All right. Am I the only one? Did you eco? I did. Correct. Go ahead. All right. So we are putting a tree down. Only place to go is here. So, Edward, you uh, grab me a tree. <laughs> Forest. Forest. All right, Chad. It. The circle inside of a circle. How's that? Okay. With a dot in the middle. It's like a. It's like an avocado with a dot on it. It looks like caveman drawing. <laughs> okay, go with it. Caveman drawing. All right. Uh, well, that's what we believe we all are. are but <laughs> Uh, so easy a cave person could do it. Okay, so I get a point per separate tree habitat. There's only two. Correct. So two points. And then I get a deer and a sun. So the deer is going to eco this one. Okay. The sun's going over here. All right. And ro did you rotate? So this rotates. And then okay. and this happens. I place a hippo. All right. Uh, Shocker. Where's... Uh, I got him. We're going to put the hippo All he wants for Christmas is here. a <laughs> Uh, okay. I gain four points if it's adjacent to a hippo or a stork is. or antelope, which is so, this. Four. So four more. Stop that. And I gain a cube. Nice. And I there. play a card. Got it. Right. Which will be... That's a good card. This one. And I get two wilds. <laughs> <laughs> which is going to equal this one. We, we did mention it's all about and chaining and comboing, right? Oh, yeah. So this so is satisfying for there. one of us. <laughs> you want to place a mountain finally? Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Uh, and we're going to do... How many suns are there? Okay. Suns are the most plentiful. There's only two out and there are ten total. There's a bunch out there, yeah. No, there's only two, but eight remaining. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll put the other wild... And if you're not reading chat, uh, this is supposed to release in October, so it sounds like it's coming out at Essen from AEG. Mm. I really need more placement stuff, but whatever. Um, we'll put this here. Okay. Okay, so this hack activates. And did you rotate the curve? I rotated this. Okay. So now this goes, I, gain, I put a mountain down. Now, it can go on any land mass, right. and it adds the availability of an additional tree, or if you're in a desert, a tree. Right. Okay. Um, so we'll put the mountain here. Okay. I gain two points, and I gain two more points if it's adjacent to zero or one mountain, which it is. So. All right. And Would that rotates. The points are coming. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> they they tend to. Uh, All right. Uh, okay. We'll that the end of that. Draw through thing. Here All right. Go. Sun. All right. Sun. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, I'm okay. going to go there. Try to move, move fast. Move fast. Yeah. Ready? All right. Yep. Son. Eco. Turn. I'm going to rotate. And I am going to just gain a cube. And then there. All right. 
Oh, and there's an eco over here. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Eco boy. Uh, that's it. Go for it. So uh, gain two points and gain a wave and a thing. Um, a wave and a thing? A, a black yeah. hole, a concentric okay. circle. Not, a still not sure. A puddle. A <laughs> uh, there are hmm. two different types of mountains. Wave. Yeah, we'll put a wave here. Okay. okay. So there we go. So those, so those yeah, rotate. Well, Camera. Oh yeah, well, yeah, I guess. There you go. And it can have a tree. Yes. Right, there you go. Oh, there you and go. then we can put a second one. There you go. Cool. Cool. All right, so I'm all done. All right. Upside down. Grass. Hey, eco! Grass. Uh, grass, I like to move one for that. Um, move that. Eco. <coughs> uh, I'll do this and play. Okay, so you're playing a card? Yeah, I'll play a card. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do mine. So this is going there. So I'm going to place a grassland or desert and gain wilds for every adjacent. Um, every adjacent grassland. So it looks like we're going to go ahead and make one big landmass. Oh, no, we won't, actually. Let's split them up. There. Why? Ooh, we're to Rome. <laughs> I <ha> <laughs> well. So that's an extra two, so that's two wilds. And so let's see. That will come off. So I get two wilds. One is going to go over here, which will eco that. And we have one more. I'm just going to set this right here so I don't forget there. So eco here, place two deserts, and they must be placed next to each other. And then I'm going to gain for habitat, da 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 da. So, no animals on it? Ah. Uh, and putting that. <laughs> All right. So the two deserts are going to go one there and one there. That's the desert. All right. Yeah. I gain three points for that. Okay. For orange. Move all animals in this habitat one space. Ooh. There's a rhino. Yeah. Uh, but... Well, he can live only on the desert. Uh, and I believe it That's has to be it. legal. Like, I, I can't you can kill it. You can't intentionally kill it. Because I, can't can't it. Can't <laughs> it. I will. Get on my grass. <laughs> Grass. Yeah, Let's see. That poisonous um, grass. Removing an animal <laughs> token. The animal may move onto a map tile containing other animals. It may even move onto a type of terrain that does not match it. Oh. The exception is water to land, land to water. Oh my. So okay. in that case, the cheetah is going to go and hang out here, and the rhino is going to go ahead and hang out there. The, the reason the cheetah is not in this. Oh, that's right. That's oh, you're right. right. I apologize. Yeah. You're right. You're right. So there we go. The rhino is going to go in there. And then gain one point and one sun per desert in this habitat with no animals on it. That would be five points for orange okay. and five suns. Gross. Five suns. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Here we go. All right. This is a good time for a there, bathroom break. There is, yeah. <laughs> there is two. Uh, yeah, you want to get a drink? Here's you know what? <laughs> For my wild, I will have placed there. Then the two suns will go there. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead, and that will rotate that. I apologize. Then I will place a, another and gain one wild per adjacent. Uh, so I'll go ahead and... Oof. What do we want to do? We'll place that there, and I will gain one wild for doing so. But that's the last activation of this card, so that's out of the game. So we have two suns and a wild still to go. So the wild will go ahead and go onto there, and the two suns will go ahead and go onto there which will be our fourth eco of the turn. So I will go ahead and place a tree, gain a uh, kelp and a water, and we'll go ahead and place, you know what? No, we won't. We'll rotate that twice, 
and place a tree, which we can. And this will rotate to there. I'm placing the oh, tree. Oh wait, you can there. if it says gain a thing, you can rotate instead from your card? Of course. It, anytime you get it's just like these. It's just like those. Did not know that. Okay, no. I apologize. That's good to know. Okay. Okay. Place why is there a mountain? What do we uh, It was just mountain? it was just just telling place. us. Making a lake. Good. Done? Yep. All right. Everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. Think so. All right. I'm gonna oh, get, right. I had to play a card. I'm gonna uh, get a card which is going to be. What's this one? Do you clear yeah, the card one. of cubes before taking the benefits? Yeah, that is when you gain a wild. Can you put it on the same the same card that generated them? That's a good question. You can never place a cube onto itself. The elements gained by one card allow you to place a cube on other cards. However, it is possible to gain elements from one card, allowing you to place a cube on and resolve the effect of a different card, which then also gains you elements that you can place onto more cubes back onto the first card. Sure. So a card can't trigger itself. And according to Chad, I have one more sun, which I will go ahead and place there. There we go. Done. Cool. Ready? Hopefully that answers yeah. your question, Paul. Go. What a... What a... You go. I'm you rotating, go. and I'm going to play a card. All right. Okay. I'm going to eco this guy. This is the last play of this card. Choose any type of animal and place it. Gain a wild if it's adjacent to three types of habitats. It's not that hard. It's adjacent to tree, mountain. Yeah. Okay. So the wild you placed can't go where you put it. I want to put a cheat out here. Because you placed it on the same card it activated. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Where where was the, which one? Uh, was it the let, last me see, one let me see the card that I get rid of. I think it's that one. Dun, dun. Okay. It was that one. It's just a wild, yeah. So... I don't know. Yeah. All right. So know that going forward, and if I win, which I won't, but if I do, asterisk. There you go. Okay. So that was water. I, I a, get a cube. I'm playing my card is to catch on. I put a cheetah here. I got a wild. Okay. Um, and then I'm doing this so I can place a water, um, which I will put here. And I gain two points. I can place another hippo, any ocean animal, but it's going to be a hippo. Uh, can you grab one for me, Chris? Oh, yep. Don't worry. Thank you. I'll start up this and thing. this rotates, and I'm done. And I played the card. I played this one here. Rotate one of your cards counterclockwise and place a wild on it. So basically, it gives you a bonus activation of that card. So that was the card that I played. All right. Oh, the deer. They're saying, so, okay, I will move it somewhere else, and I'll just go ahead and place it on the sun there. There. All right, that should undo it. Good. It's done. Probably upside down. Oh, water. There you go. Water. Hmm. All right, so we move the deer over for the wild onto something else. Water. Hmm. And we have a water. Oh, that should have reset, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate. Done. There you go. All right, we'll put that there. Ready? Yep. Ish. Yeah. Fish egg. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rotate. I'm going to place it on that one. There. Okay. Blank. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Water. I will rotate. Uh, put it over here. This is what we want. Oh, water. Um, Actually, hold on. I'm gonna. I need to do okay, go ahead. Action. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna look at cards. Same. I'm going to gain a card as well. Uh, that's mm. not I'll take you. Oh. There's that shark card again. Yeah, that's here. the one. A shark. Card yeah, card. I love that card. <laughs> Give me it. <laughs> it's too tempting to not. 
can't. And I don't learn. No. Hey, if you guys are enjoying this and you're getting value from it, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below, y'all. Yeah. Huh. All right. Everyone happy? Yeah. Well, ish. Okay. <laughs> getting there. Fish egg. Uh, Eco. Okay. So the fish egg will go there. Okay. All right. I am first. I'll do my eco. Yep. That's going to come off. That's going to rotate to two, but I'll read it first. Place a water or a desert. I'm going to place a water in there. Make that little river bigger. Gain four points, please. Four for black. It's not adjacent to a mountain, so I don't get anything. And move one animal in or adjacent to this habitat, habitat one space. Yeah. You're done. I'm going to move that guy to the grass. And he's still alive. Does it have to be adjacent to that space? Adjacent to this habitat. Oh, no, habitat. Adjacent to the habitat. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. Totally. Right yep. yep. Good. So that's my turn. Okay. 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 And cubes. All right. Everyone done with the uh, yep. row? Okay. Yep. Deer. Deer. Oh, oh yeah. Take like it. All right. Moose. Oh, I just can't get that. I need those first. Sun. Ugh. Sun. Okay. Actually, oh. eco. That works. All right. So for the last time, I will place a tree, which I will do real quick. It can go in two different places, actually. Yep. And I'll go ahead Ugh. and put that there. Go right around my work. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Setting nice. something up for a long time here. <laughs> oh, had to ruin. <laughs> oh. Uh, so then I gain a kelp and a water. So the kelp will go there and the water I will go there and this card goes away and that's it. All right. Um, so this as Bjorn went from never heard of this to I need to play this. <laughs> All right, cool. Good. This uh, gets me, let's visit a mountain. So. We'll put one here. Okay. Uh, we'll do a different type of mountain. This so time. I get two points, and I gain two more if it's adjacent to zero or one mountain, which it is. So two more, and okay. this rotates. Ready? Ish. <laughs> I thought uh, I, if I had my druthers, I would ask for a grass. Here it is. Uh, avocado with a dot. Oh, right. that is so not <laughs> nice. I guess we'll do that. Sure. Oh, so hold on. I want to do this to fill this, but I don't want to do it before this, so that rotates back. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an avocado right. with a dot. What? That's a fish egg. You put that on. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, thank you. Good catch. Egg. All right. In that case, I will rotate. Okay. I apologize. Thank you for the catch. Right. Right. As opposed for to that one. three avocados yeah. with a dot. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you guys don't have to wait in line to check out these games <laughs> now, right? True. So think of it that way. Like, like, yeah, there's thing. two different uh, types of mountains no. there. Yep. I think we're just waiting for a big score here. Uh, no. I don't know where it's coming from. Mm. A card. So are you guys able to make sense of this? Are you guys able to follow along? Ready? Go ahead. Yep. Grass. Yes. Oh, grass. Eco. So yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <we're> right there. <laughs> All right. Chris, I'm what good. do you I okay. got All right, here we go. Okay, so Jess and I both eco yep. there. So I'm gonna place uh, I'm gonna place a desert. Apparently I am a desert guy. I apologize to do this. Can we just rot rotate the I whole think thing over? Might be okay, oh, that? Here. okay, that'll work. Yeah. Okay, so placing a desert, then rotate one of my cards counterclockwise. And place a wild on it, which this will rotate. And then placing a wild on it, eco. And now this one's going to be a lot of fun. Place two deserts, and they must be next to each other. Any guesses? Any guesses? <sighs> one. And you're, you're fine. Yeah. You're covering All right. It. There's two. Gain three points for that, please. Okay. Move all animals in this habitat one space. So we will do that next. 
So my cheetah will come hang out in the mountain up there. That's going to kill them. And no, they're allowed to, they, this is legal, and they're allowed to move where there's another animal. You can't place where there's another animal or do these they things. Only have a, they only have a desert. It's okay. It doesn't it's for okay. placement, it's drown, but for moving. They correct. Don't drown. Okay. Correct. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then okay. gain one point and one sun per desert in this habitat with oh, no animal on it. God. <laughs> Hey, I've been working for this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Ugh. And uh, nine suns. <laughs> so we're going to rotate that. You got no suns yeah, you there. Really long off. <laughs> <laughs> One. How, but many that's, how many rotations? <laughs> that's, that's what we decided you couldn't do, though, right? Yeah, put it on so the same card. Can't put it on, uh, the, card, put it on the same card. There. So. We have nine rotations. So you're okay? going to get a lot of stuff. So there we go. So one, two, three. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and play the shark card for three of it. Then I'm going to rotate and get one more cube. And then I'm going to rotate one more time and play one more card. And I'm done. But that was a lot of fun. That was Amazing. cool. I'm glad I could draw that for you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm just stuck over here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had a card that looked like it was cool, but then I realized it was just four points. And, uh, <laughs> and he's bitter. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. We ready? Yep. Nice one. To, hold on. I'm going to read my card real quick. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I'm banding you there or not. Fish egg. Mm. I'm allowed to play it, that one now. Okay. Eco. All right. Fish egg on the my desert card. All right. Um, All right, Eco boy. <laughs> so this is going to be placing a rhino. And then if it's not adjacent, I get... So I'm going to get five points for it not being adjacent to another animal. Okay. No reason why I should... Let's see. There. Hey, and Michael. Then gain better late than not at all. So why don't we... Uh, why don't we eco that? Yeah, why don't we just eco that and get two more fish eggs? Two more row. And we'll stick them up. Ooh, Ooh good. good. Yeah, that's mm. okay. I got. Put them on that one. All okay. right. Done? Done. All right. Uh, I. Uh, here, I played this card earlier, which gains me uh, antelope, which is going to help with the shark card. Ready? Anybody? Nobody else eco. All nope. right, we're good. Fern. Oh, eco. Um, not really a huge fan of the fern. Sorry. My All right, and we'll fern it there. Go for it. Okay. So I place a tree. Um, we're going to put it down in the mountain area. So, Edward, can you name me a tree? Yeah, uh, absolutely, sir. Thank you. So, this is going to go here. And then I gain a water per adjacent tree. I'm assuming it doesn't count the one that's in the hex. So... I believe it does. Actually, oh, I nice. got clarification in an email on this. Okay. Um, so, a Let's moment while I place. look that up. All right. Well, it's either four or five water. Okay. Uh, three of those are definitely going here to eco again. And if I get two or one. Um, so adjacent means within one space. This definition is important for animals and trees. As two animals or trees that share a space are considered adjacent, obviously tiles cannot share a space and neither can mountains. So yes, it does okay. include the same space. So one and two, so that's all five waters. Then this one activates. I get to put a water or a grassland. Um, let's put down a... All right, here, we'll go deep water. <laughs> Can't see it on the table. Well, there you can. I think I'm on a grassland. Okay. <laughs> and we'll put it here. Um, so I gain three points. And I gain a sun per adjacent animal. So there's two adjacent animals. So two sun. One's going to go... No, two actually can go here. So eco. So this rotates. Eco again. Gain two this is points. What it's all about. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then I gain a grass and a fish eggs. 
Uh, grass is going to go here. And I don't have any fish eggs, so I'm just going to rotate. rotate. So that rotates. Okay. Just a rotate. Do me a favor, if you could, Andrew, bring yeah. your rotation. Your oh, here. Right there. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Cool. And that is the end of the turn. All right, here we go. Water. Water. Mm. Shark. <laughs> sure. Ready? Go. Water. Oh, shark. Ooh, where do I want that? <laughs> yeah, I guess here. Yeah. Ready? Uh huh. Fern. Rotate. Eco. Yeah. <laughs> All right, rotate. Someone echoed. Yep, I heard Nico. Mm -hmm. No one's name. All right, so we're doing this again. We're <laughs> placing another tree down. Uh, you have three legal placements, sir. Yes. So we'll put it down here. Uh, I gain a water per adjacent, so that's three. So three water. Um, two of which will be here to eco this guy. And one over here. So this, um, did I just rotate this? I believe you did. Okay. So this is going to, let me place uh, another water. Um, hmm. I'll put it over here actually. So I gain two points and I'll place a hippo right here. Hippo? And this oh, card is no. done so. Where is that going? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a glory to Rome, Chris? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounded sadder than a glory to Rome. <laughs> so Robert said, just pre-order. Miniature market has a good price on it. Edward, my wallet doesn't like you sometimes. Also, the game looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Hey, happy to help uh, point out games that you guys might enjoy. Okay? <laughs> glory to Rome. <laughs> Real this game's been a real slow burn for me. I almost, <laughs> I almost got to it. <laughs> and now... This is gonna it be continues. A pile of embers. Okay. There we go. Non-concentric circles. Uh, all right. I'm gonna rotate. Mm. Stubbornly mm. do what I was gonna do anyway and play my card. Uh, all right. That's stubbornly do it. <laughs> all right. So there. Yeah, I don't have enough cubes to do that. No. All right. Yep. Done. Mm -hmm. Draw. Right. Oh, wild. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. This would have been it. <laughs> hmm. But it, alas, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's not bitter. Um, I know I am. <laughs> no, I yeah, I'm doing well, now that you did that, we're going to go ahead and put it on right. the deer. It's going to place there. it there on the deer. Yep. That doesn't really need to do something but... about this. By the way, I did look up in the rule book. Water. You can, anytime you gain an extra element, rotate just like normal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I did confirm that. All right. If the over under is four and a half. I like the over now. Mm -hmm. All right. A four, a four. That's the thing. All right. Jets. All right. Let's see a grass. I'm going to on that. Huh? You want a grass, you said? Mm hmm. There yeah. you go. There you go. Eco. Eco. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> uh, I will go and put that there. Done. All right, so J Rex, go for it. I think he nope. got the egos too, right? Yeah, yeah but it's for oh, first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, place two points. Is that? Okay. It goes uh, all right, so I'm going to place a hippo. We'll we know you are. Down. <laughs> I'm noticing a theme. Mm. Well, I think, yeah, I'll put it here, I think. You okay. know what? I might as so well move So, gain four, because right, it's adjacent to another hippo. Uh, gain okay. a cube, and play a card, which is going to be this one. And then I gain two wilds. Mm -hmm. So Just this card's go. done. Though. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Uh, so two wilds, so, hmm, 
Daniel says, I haven't heard much about this one, but after watching them so far, it's definitely going on the wish list. Cool. And Asbjorn, yeah. the theme doesn't uh, do anything for me, but it definitely triggers my liking in abstract games. So, I'm going to do wilds here, so that activates that one. I'll place a grassland here. Uh, I gain three. And I gain a sun per adjacent animal, which is two. So, two suns rotates, one of which is going there. And one of which I'll put. Hmm. Mm, I'll put over here. Okay, so this happens. So I put another mountain down. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool, you guys. <laughs> so here. Sorry to everyone watching. Was, a really cool thing was gonna happen. But someone um, put a water tile right there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Gain two points plus another two because the mountains don't destroy that mountains. so hard. <laughs> and that is the end. All right, you you everyone ready now? Yes. <laughs> okay. So we'll put this up here. Concentric that circle thing. or no? Sorry, a circle inside eggs. <laughs> no, not it's egg. not it's eggs. A, well, it's, it's an ostrich egg or something uh, maybe instead of fish egg. A whirlpool. I don't know. Not um, even a eyeball. It's an eddy. There you go. There you go. Uh, eyeball. Uh, I'm gonna rotate because I have no eddies available. I heard no eco, so yep. we move on. Grass. Rotate. Yeah, we're putting there. Uh, don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Go there. All right. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> right? Water. Water. I would have done it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rotate and gain a cube. That's it. Everyone done? Um, rotating. Go ahead. Grass. Grass. A rotate and play a card. Hmm. We're going to go there. How are there ten suns in... None. Grass. Quarter of them. Oh, wait, that's grass. It's going to be eco. Just give me a second. Okay, take your time. You're good. Um, hey, Franny. I don't think I care about this. So I'll do that. Uh, okay. So, no one else did that? Uh, All right, place the thing. Oh, this game cube. So in the habitat? The place, and it's ones that are, so in the habitat, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not including the one you placed, I assume. Uh, I, it doesn't say that, so I would say For, it's ten. In this habitat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I would say ten. One, yeah. That not goes to you made a nice grassland habitat. There you go. Well done. <laughs> only, only there's a nice water habitat. <laughs> 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 All, All right. right, here we go. All right, we're going to... Kelp. Kelp. Yep. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm rotating. I am. Oh, that's really Chris's dice luck. Yeah, last last night night is... so, you see last night? No. I rolled. I rolled a on twelve die. I rolled a twenty-five or whatever, and Chad yeah. said Chad said it was 011 percent chance of rolling twenty-five or less. Yeah, right. you're lucky to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throughout the course of three rolls right, of four die. Good. All right, here we go. All right, sun. sun. Rotate, gaining a card. Eco. And eco. Or wait, no, not eco. I'm going to rotate. Because I want to keep that card alive. Never mind, I just rotated. Go ahead. I heard eco. Yeah. So, uh, place a mountain. Um, which. Hmm. I guess I'll put it over here. Or actually, I'll put it here. Um, so, I gain two and two more because it's only adjacent to one mountain. So, okay. four points. And this card is now gone. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. So that's it for the sun. What do I need? What am I trying to pull? I need a uh, row. I'm good with that. Kelp. Rotate. I'll rotate and gain a cube. Oh, oh wait, I should have uh, in there. there. Everyone done? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Water. Uh-huh. That's still not wrong. Uh, it, it checks out. Shark. Yeah, we do. <laughs> We're gonna move over to that water there. I'm gonna Ooh, change that. my luck. I guess I'll. Just... Mm. <laughs> All right, turn, and I'll get a cube, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's right, Chip. Water. Water. Come on. I. I it's, it's, it's not what I want either. I'll rotate. I've been slipping for water for so long, and that's just painful. <laughs> just do that. When it rains, yeah, of course. Yes, exactly. All right, just give me a sun. All right. Everyone ready? Mm-hmm. Chief, mm-hmm. oh, come on! Hold it alone! What are you doing over there? The Rotate. worst part ever! <laughs> Actually, no. We'll okay, here. so I have this card that required four waters, and I would get a wild for each water tile in the smallest water habitat, which for the entire game was five. <laughs> so every time water, I would have been getting five wilds, but I mean, now it's one because he put Rotate. that there. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, all the stubbornness. I'm going to keep those on that card. Pull that again, man. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, wild. 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 Eco. All right. Eco. 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 Yeah, I imagine Eco. there's going to be a lot of those. Hmm. So, okay. So, starting off with me, yeah. going to go ahead and start a new habitat. We're going to put um, this out, and we're going to rotate my desert card back. So, this will clear. That'll go there. And place this. And we'll go ahead and start in the- ah! Glory to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Alright, so you can take that back, right? You sure can. What 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 I what? <laughs> okay. Just taking it back. It takes back see. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel bad. I didn't realize that. Oh, <laughs> she is turning red. <laughs> <laughs> go. Okay. You can do it on purpose. I know. Go. Continue the game. Right. So I'm, uh, I'm good. I see. You're gonna gain seven points. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I remember points. All right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> hey, ass, what am I doing? Yeah. What What are you doing? Beautiful dream. Of All right. We're gonna put a water tile, please. Where's um, it going? Actually, I guess not. Not right. I can do this. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. There's like deep water and deep shallow water. water. And shallow yeah. water. I think we're gonna put it there. So I maybe I'll get my wild card to work. Get four points, please. It's not adjacent to a mountain. Move one animal in or adjacent to this habitat one space. I'm gonna move that there. Chris says I like the rain right. right. in Africa. Okay. I'm fixing my turn. Put a tree there, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, this moves. Uh, three points. Oh, that's not the smallest tree there. Okay. Uh, gain kelp and. What are you doing? Answer that. This card. Okay. Ecos. Okay. Right. So, just so people can put a follow. tree there. Right. Three points because it's the smallest. Gain. Uh, kelp and an antelope. A fern and a moose. Yeah. <laughs> and. I think it's twelve, Paul. Brides and bribes. Although there have been a couple that have been close. Okay, so that was the wild. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, that was the wild. All right. That uh, the new harbinger of yes, the harbinger yeah. of of goodness. And <laughs> <laughs> huh. All right. Oh, that's not what I want. Fish egg. We'll take it. I don't want either anymore. Uh. Okay, eco. So place. Here, gain two, and then one per water or grassland that I'm next to. So, place this up there. So that'll be a total of five points for orange. Okay. And rotate. Um, I haven't placed yet. That. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to do that? That was Toto called for. Here we go. Um, I feel legitimately bad. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. No, I mean that's the game. You're just blocking. Yeah. You're not really paying attention to what other people have. Um, I can no longer place in the smallest habitat, so this card's useless. I could just do this for no purpose. Um. Uh huh. 
Well, no, hold on. You could always start working around it that way. You're, you now know it's there. No one's you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, There's no point. There's no point. You're you're in last or What's next to last, that? and yeah. I. What's that? Was, are you talking about this card? Or? No, no, this one's useless. This one's useless. Well, no, because there's a. It's not in the largest habitat, right? So you could still put it over here, and that's a separate habitat. No, it has to be gain three if this is not the. Oh, okay, not the largest. Yeah, okay, that's true. So not it's useless. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't have to be. Uh, oh no, that wasn't that one. I don't know what I did. Oh, I rotated. Okay. There you go. Done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That it. Go yep. ahead, Jess. Draw. Oh, draw. Draw some Sorry, I'm okay with the water now. No. Avocado. <laughs> okay, you gotta try to call it. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's all right. I'll deal with it. You know what? Here. What I'll do is I'll put it on one of my deer for my shark. Because I forgot to do that. All right. Cancelo? Oh, oh, there's thanks. another deer. Uh, right. uh, one away from get, the shark. trying to get him before Eco, he does the move. Okay, all right, go for it. All right, so I'm placing the hippo. It is going right there. Uh-huh. Um, give me that oh, thing. <laughs> so I gained four points. One water away from wiping his hippos off the board. I just... <laughs> Out of spite. Right. Wow. Uh, I gained two points per hippo in a, this community is within one space of both a water and a grassland tile, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12 points. I told yeah. you. I saw it coming. Yeah. I needed that Building water. Up to all game. Moose. And I get a water and a wild. A water. Oh, there. Sorry. Yep. Um, the wild will be. Um, the water is going to be this. Uh, the wild will be this one. The water will be this one. So this will happen. So I put a tree down. Um, put it here. So I gain a water per adjacent tree. So I gain two tree, two water. Um, one of which. And ro wait, you rotate? No, oh, yeah, get rid of this card. This right. Sorry, there you go. that goes away. Uh, one of which will just go back onto here. And one of which will go on to here. Okay. That's it. Anyone else? <laughs> All right, draw. Mm. Uh, I'm going to play a card a moment. Uh, I'm also going to play a card. So. not super helpful. So we'll do this one. You know what? I'm not. I'm actually going to get a cube. I have planned poorly. Done. Kelp. Kelp. Alright. Uh, Rotate. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'll put it there. Who actually? No. Place that there. Done. Yeah, I'll place it there. Fish eggs. Ooh. You go. We're gonna move Fish something over there. It's easy. Because I'm not smart. Grass, yeah, you know what? We will have put our kelp on Eco. that. There. All right, go for it. All right, place a mountain. Sure, whatever. All right, sorry. That's up. Down point out. Gain two points per five. I am behind the leader. Oh my. 65 oh. to 24 is 40, uh, wait, 41? Well, when the plane comes together. It's called gain two per, two per five. five. So it's eight points. Okay, Plus gain three because it's adjacent to only one mountain. So it'll be 11 for black. There you go. 35 points for like black, Andrew. Okay. Um, no, really so 32 that. plus what? 35, 35 total. Okay. There you go. Thanks for being so far ahead of me. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> that was it for me. What are... You go. Go. Water. Uh, wow, I have no water. I will rotate. All right, what you doing? Placing a tree. Can you place it over there? Where are you? And three points. Was by itself somewhere, or what? On any of the green tiles. Over okay, there. it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and gain that in an antelope so I'll turn. All right, may I eco? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Gain a wild per water in the smallest wa water habitat. Just two. Great. <laughs> All right. Still good. Now I got to chain it to the. Oh, uh, here we go. The card. big cheetah. The cheetah here we card. go. Here we go. The cheetah may be placed on a space with other animals. Well, let's place a cheetah first. Here he is. All right. May be placed on a. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> okay. I foresee a lot of hippo death. <laughs> He's gonna go right here, so we can kill the most hippos. Okay, all, all right. right. So now, gain four, <laughs> so points. Gain four points. Four points. So very nice. And now I get to move all cheetahs zero or one space. And oh, I see. If I put it on a different starting spot, you can then move. Um, it doesn't work out that way. All right, so I can move all the cheetahs zero or one space, and any animal they end up with, they get to gobble up, and I get two points per animal. Per somehow. gobble. Okay. Right, so this guy's gonna move. Wait, here. he has a hippo already. He's gonna there. move here, so this guy can move here, and Aha. both get him. Yeah. And then this guy is gonna get that hippo. <laughs> a lot of hippo death. Yeah. And I got is that, is that all my cheetahs. <laughs> I think that's all so your six cheetah. More points. Six points. So I'm hoping points. to do that before he scored. There you go. Spell, <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted to do, really. <laughs> Just kill some hippos. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, right? Oh, okay. Your math was wrong. So now they're saying you should be at fifty-one points because you, you, apparently you can't math. I guess is I'm gonna go with the peanut gallery okay. on this. Okay. All right. <laughs> Closing I'll in. I believe. Good. Them. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Draw. Son, finally. Eco. Eco. If we can play the card. Eco. All right. Go for it. Gain of grass. Um. Move up to three antelope, one space. And then place an antelope. So there's only one antelope. Right. So he's fine. Well, we'll just take rotate the antelope. Rotate and play Do you still have that? Desert? I do. That's about to trigger. Gain one and one per without right. animals. Okay. Come back into this. No. No, yeah, that was, you, that was some power turns there. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so that moved one space. No, nope. okay. 47. They corrected. Four, oh, seven. I'm losing points. Now. You are. There you go. <laughs> Still more well, than I don't think I'm in it anymore now. Okay, two. Yeah, now it's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the definition of a community, I believe, is... It's just, I think it's just contiguous animals of the same type. Right. Uh, contiguous, yes. Yeah, group. that's how the hippo community works. For what? Two points per antelope in this community. Okay, That's you it. only have two. one. No, you only have Well, they're not in the same... Right, they have community. to be adjacent yeah, to, to one another. Uh, and they need... Did there you place go. both of these? No. I no, she just moved move one over. One just move. Oh, you're move right. Yeah, you move one and place one. There you go. Good. I'm sorry, Gain this wasn't two in attention. this community. There you go. Good. Okay. All right, done? Then what did it say? Then play a card and place a wild one. It's or, so it was either oh, get the points or. or play the card. Right. Um, okay, so this is get two points, and then gain a grass and fish eggs. Um, grass, I'll put here. And the fish eggs, I'll just rotate. That is it. Actually, <laughs> sorry, hold on. The grass is going to be here, because then I can do this. Uh, so that's going to let me place a water at grass. Um, so I'll place a grass over here. Oh, sorry, grass line. Yep. Thank you. Stop so that. I gain three. I wonder how many and then I gain a sun per adjacent <laughs> animal. So it's two suns. So two suns are going to go over here. <laughs> you go that. So you go that. So I place a tree. And I gain a point per separate habitat, so we'll put it here. So I gain uh, one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five. Oh, all one. right, nice, well done. Five. Ugh. And I gain a deer and a sun. Uh, the deer is going here. Obviously, Andrew gets this game. I like yes. these kinds of games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sun. Hey, Gio. Sun, sun, sun. Mm. I think this is the more useful one. Okay, done. All right, and so I'm up. Mm -hmm. Desert time. 
place two desert tiles and gain three points and move all animals in this habitat one space. So we'll go ahead and go one there and we'll go one there. Move, move, move. Mm -hmm. And then one point in the sun per desert in the habitat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. And eleven suns. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if I got eleven wilds from my life. Imagine that. Imagine. <laughs> the max is 12. If you would. So here we go. So there so eleven. It. So it's going to be one, two. Reset. Five, eight, two more cubes. Ten, eco, there, gain one, gonna go there. Shark bait, and I still have two more, so we'll go ahead there and I'll uh, leave it there. This will rotate. And now shark turn, place a shark. Unfortunately, it's not nearly as exciting again as I wanted it to be. There it is, lion and okay. shark. Okay. Lion and shark on this. All right, so we have fitting. <laughs> shark. So it says place a shark. Now, unfortunately, you did not. I can't place up there I where I want to. I'd love it to have been a big. <laughs> so we'll, a we'll place the shark there. Gain five points. Okay, five points. Move the shark up to four spaces and remove any animals in those spaces. We'll just move one. Oh, my poor hippo. <laughs> Well. Remove any animal in those spaces and gain four points per animal removed. So that's four points. Four points. And then gain a card and play a card. Give me two blues. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That'll work. So I will gain and play this card. And... My shark card goes away now. And I think I still have one more sun. That will get discarded. Uh, and the sun will go there, and I can play one more card. And I will play that one. Done. All right. Done. Done. All right, moose. Okay. Keep working on that one. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, hey, Ryan. Welcome back. I like Giovanni's comment. You know, my money's on Greg. It's <laughs> 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 gonna pop Just in. Shows up, doesn't even cute. Yeah. Fish eggs. All right. Uh, oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, there. All right. I'm going to play a card. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> or no, I'm sorry. It's just a game card. Never mind. Okay. Everyone done? Yeah. All right. Water. 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 Okay. I'll just rotate, I think. Jazz? Grass. 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 Uh, go there. Okay. Another water. Oh, I'm not smart. Uh, we got a water. I guess I'm rotating. Place Done. in the water. Hey, Shaz. Gain eggs or that for each adjacent. There's one adjacent. I can't do that yet. One, two. So, I think I'll do that. And rotate. Okay. I oh. guess that would... Okay. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Uh, it's so tricky. No, I'll do that. Go. All right, real quick. Hey. Yay. Oh. Cheers, right. Jack. Hey. All right, hey, Jack. Cheers. Welcome. 
to your sip. Cheers. Did that move? No. It did not. I don't think so. Yeah, you... There. There we go. I think that's right. Here we go. So thanks for the support, right, Jack. Board. Be like Jack, y'all. Go to pledgehc.com. <laughs> support the show there. All right, Jess, draw. Grass. Mm. All right, I'll play a card. Eco. We know it's a lost cause. Yeah, I feel like that, too. Uh, so my eco is we're going to here and rotate my desert card again back. There. I can only do that one more time, but we're going to go ahead and place a desert. Um, right there. Done. All right. Ready? Yo. Fish eggs. Oh, Ecos. Mm. Oh, now I'd have to start over again. Uh, yeah. I'll just get a cube. No, I'm not do that. I'll That's do a really that, bad plan. I guess. Thanks. An energy really? cube, sir? Energy cube. Not what I wanted. Nah, points are points, right? We'll put it there. Done. Okay. I want that. I want that. Uh, where did I place it? Whatever. Okay, next one. It was about an hour ago with Jack, but oh, I missed I it. Oh, I turned. I don't know how to turn. I think I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Working on a chip. <laughs> Trying to make it work. Sun. Ecos. Uh, eco. Oh no, that makes me nervous. All right, so, so that's there. Good. Black point markers Go over sinking here. Like yeah, a stone. he's done. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Here comes 12 ish. This, this, this might be a points. pretty big turn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's not enough. Um, and then one per. I was 17. 11. I was off by five. It's, it's not, yeah. Well, done. And clear your cubes and rotate. Or get rid of the card, as it were. Okay. Um, so this one goes off. I get two points. And I gain a grass and fish egg. Um, oh, right. Because I can't do that yet. Okay. So the grass and the fish egg aren't really that uh, not much. Um, hmm. Is that gonna matter? Oh, we got time. Silver and gold's not till three. Oh, I was good. all worried it was two. I was like, No, oh, you're fine. No, we're, we're fine. fine. Okay. No, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll just to rotate check. twice. Uh -huh. okay. All right, done. Yeah. Well, I was. I am underwhelmed. Yeah. All right, Josh, you're up. I need. Interesting. Need some specific specific wild here. Yeah. Oh, there, yes. we oh. there we go. All the right. The game There's I guess will be over, right? <laughs> if we get the plastic. Weirdly. There you go. I you have go. to do that, and there's not enough. Oh, this is terrible. There's the one thing. All right, so points. here we go. All right. Place two deserts. Hold Stop on. me if you... I have an eco tip. Oh, go ahead, please. That, Absolutely. Uh, you have eco, I have an eco, right? yeah. yeah. Oh, Sorry. go ahead. Okay, so... so this first thing on it says gain 10 points, just for the record. Oh. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Um, thank you. So I'm going to place an ocean... Um, yeah, it's not going to matter, because I don't want to change those guys. Yeah, if mm. a wild has been drawn and all the effects have been resolved, if somebody's at 80, meaning this is going to trigger it. Mm -hmm. So so I can't place, like I couldn't place a hippo where there's a cheetah, right? Because there's already Correct, there's there. already there an animal one. there, correct. Mm. Right. Unless there's How exception. can I make this work? All right, we'll just do, I don't think it matters then. Oh, I can move two spaces, actually. Okay, so we'll put this here. Uh, I gain 10 points. And I convert up to two animals in the habitat into any other type of animal. So the sharks can become a hippo. <laughs> it doesn't. Emerging. Well, as they do. It could have been a manatee. I'm just saying it could have been. It's bursting out of his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> the same one he ate in the last year. I gain a card and play a card, but I don't think it really matters at this point. It doesn't. So it doesn't because you triggered do it. That. So. Um, I gain a wild. So that's going to become this to trigger yes. that. That card's finally, that card's that gone. That card's gone. Not finally, but yeah. And then this card <laughs> is also going to be gone. So I place a hippo. Uh, the hippo will go over here. I so I gain I four go. points from that. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing, Geo. And I gain two for the community of hippos because they're within one space of water and grass. So that's six more points. And I gain a water and a wild. Uh, Doesn't matter because you can't end another card. Go for it. Uh, yeah, right. so um, mine's easy. I'm getting five points and I'm placing a rhino. 
just to make it. And he can go on any place. Hey, That's Lucas. Not. Five points are black. Five Nicely points. done. Could I change my alarm clock sign to a loud eco? <laughs> That's funny. Did you have one? Uh, yeah. So You're up. here we go. My two deserts. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. They have to be adjacent to one another. Um, that, that rhino over here is pretty nasty. So it moves one, but it doesn't help. But it's hey, still. I did something. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And if I didn't get my three, three more. Okay. So. Yep. And then it's thirteen suns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <So> which absurd. <laughs> this is the amount I hate Andrew by. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I can get a whole bunch of antelopes, but I can't really do anything with a whole bunch of suns on this, unfortunately. Um, this will rotate again. Uh... And I could I could get cards get it doesn't matter so I'm not gonna bother unfortunately done, mm -hmm. Jess. No, I didn't have one. All right, time. you drew the wild. Yeah. That's it. So read them and weep. Ninety seven for Andrew wins. Uh, I take 76. second. Seventy six, and then J Rex at fifty four and Chris. Thanks for showing up today. We appreciate it. And can I can I just torture myself because I did? I pulled the next one just to see what it would have been, and this would have changed this to this, and finally made me uh, have the oh. thing that you got in the way of. But I no. just wanted to torture myself. It works. <laughs> it works. Do you feel tortured? Yeah, okay. it was worse. Right, it was right. worse to know that. She's I was like, it'll be right nothing. It's starting to match your shirt. Like you should. I... Okay, so. Uh, I'll start with this guy. Start with Andrew. <laughs> uh, it, it's cool. I mean, it's the so first time playing it, so like, you know, not clearly, you know, only uh, initial... So you would have won my more, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really cool tableau builder sort of thing, like, uh, getting the combos right. And uh, it's interesting, I didn't really draw, I didn't gain any cards the whole game. I didn't feel like I needed to. So yeah, you no. just had your own yeah, I think and you chained just, it. Yeah. yeah, if you if you do that well. Yeah, the like set of cards I had worked really well together. So. Right. There, now there is a alternative draft that you could do in the mm. whole nine yards, but again, it all goes back to that starter combo of of set cards. Yeah. So how about you? Other than people getting in your way? No, I think the draft improves this greatly. Like okay. hugely, I wouldn't play it without a draft. Okay. Um, because it's too random what you're going to get for those start cards, um, and you really could get some great combos. Mm. And then other people are stuck trying to draw to get those combos, and you have that benefit. And so I think if you do the draft, that eliminates that problem. That's okay. the only thing I felt was an issue in this game, and the draft will resolve that. So mm. I would say definitely draft. I agree. I had two different plays of this. The first time I had his deck. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, <laughs> so I was like, oh, this. this is great. Yeah. And the combinations are just like right there. Yeah. yeah. It made, it's right, just like a big sense. hippo picture on like three of the cards, like putting the hippos down. Right. right? Mm -hmm. This, I just couldn't figure out how to make this one like combo very well. And I think that maybe this was like kind of more of a. So I was trying to make a cool big combo just for fun, right? And why not? But I think this might have been more like a deck that was supposed to be like a bunch of little points over the course of the game. Mm. And instead I was just ignoring that and going for big points and right. maybe I could have just slowly but steadily moved up the scoreboard. And I instead, think that instead, I think instead, that's exactly yeah. kind of uh, uh -huh. what you guys are saying, that every deck is tuned to a different play style and uh -huh. a different and obviously after just a couple of plays, we don't know what those are. Yeah. There some are going to be probably more obvious than yes. others. The hippo um, play style. <laughs> right. Um and uh, I played the elephants twice, and I've I'm not doing well with them because, <laughs> because I don't think I'm playing them right, and uh -huh. I don't think I'm maximizing how I can play them. But there's a ton of variety here. Uh, the production quality on this is really good. I like the different mountains that are available. Yeah. I like yeah. the little the fact that the water That's is nice two different uh, yeah. two different sizes between the water and the land tiles. I think it's produced well for what it is. I really like it. Um, Again, we, we wanted to stream the, or, you know, I went through the list and said, hey, what do you think of these games? And, mm -hmm. and it was games that looked interesting, and mm -hmm. we hadn't played them, so we don't know. And come to find out, I actually really like games like this, even though I'm not good at them, the, the chaining of combos and everything else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, really well done. The, the Everything from these, having to put these together and being able to... Uh, 
they make good little holders. You don't have to use, I mean, could you use baggies instead? Sure, but adds no, a nice little so touch. Cute. Yeah. Cute. It's really nice. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, it's no, not thought it out. Yeah. Like, yeah, the whole production but, design. Yeah, beautiful table presence. I mean, down to the bag. It really, really is nice. Yeah, I but think I think it, this felt like a demo, too, which is what this is right now. It's right. demo only. You sat down, you get to see new players learning it. Some <laughs> really taking off with it. Others like, why am I doing this? Um, but yeah, this is, you know, hopefully people get a chance to check it out at Gen Con. If not, they can watch it here and see what they think. There you go. All right. So join us uh, in 59 minutes for the next <laughs> one. Uh, Silver and Gold uh, from Pandasaurus uh, coming up next. And This feels like Gen Con, doesn't it? It really does. Table game, to game, table. Game, 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 game. 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 So there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I say that every stream. If you watch anyone else out there, John Gets Games or any of our friends out there, like and subscribe. The reason is subscriptions are for you so that you guys can actually see when we post new videos. Yeah. But the liking, it helps the channel. It helps it get uh, in the algorithm. Well, I'll be honest, both work. Okay, so you follow. I prefer one direction, but that is <laughs> subscriptions that, that's your help the show too. It helps share with your friends. So right. you know, if you, other people that are on YouTube, they're going to see that you like that, that you're subscribed. It's going to get shared with other people in so, the community. Yeah. So subscribe as well, and pledge AC to join the community because Slack is amazing. You want to be on Slack if you enjoy the chat and being part of these discussions. Um, you'll get to know these folks really well in Slack, and you'll hear about games like this. There's entire threads that go on about 18xx, games coming out at upgiving conventions, get-togethers, all of that. Slack is a really great time, and you can customize it to what you're interested in. So. Yeah. Hired. All right, good. All right. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in an hour with uh, Silver and Gold, which is kind of a flipping right, which I think I do good every game and lose by like one or two points every game. So join us. To I check haven't that out. lost yet. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Yeah, right. right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my tea. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Take care, guys. I'm Edward. I'm Jess. Andrew. Press. All right. We'll see you all in an hour. Take care, everybody. <laughs> I think I'm just red. I'm not even upset. I think I'm just red. <laughs> I, 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 you have gotten all the sun. sun. It's all I'm not. Cold. I'm not. I was fine. <laughs>